Hi, I'm Mike from the M Kitchen and I'm going to give you a quick lesson in rough puff pastry. So, I have 250 grams of strong plain flour, 250 grams of diced butter with the chilled just taken off it, 150 ml of water which you're probably not going to need all that and a good pinch of salt. There are the four ingredients that I'm going to use, so here goes. I get my flour into a bowl and just start dotting in the butter. Like I said, I have taken the chill off this and just start to gently rub that in. So now I've got the dough to where I want it to be with a good mix of flour and butter. I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Now I'm going to put in about 50 ml, but the recipe, it can change with the flour what you use. So just sort of play it by eye. I'm just going to bring all that together and into a dough. I'm going to mix the water through and then when I've got to where I want with the dough, I'm going to wrap it into a ball. Okay, so if your dough turns out a little bit on the soft side, um, like this one has, right, feel free to add a tiny bit more flour like I'm doing here. Right? But be careful how much you add because too much and you'll have to change in the recipe. And that's it, perfect. My dough bowl for my rough puff. And now into the fridge for 30 minutes. Okay, so now my rough puff has been sat in the fridge for about 30 minutes. I've got to get it out. Bit of flour. And, and let's pin it. Just keep turning it, I just want to get to a nice oblong. And, and then, I've got it to a, a reasonable oblong shape that I want, and I'm just going to bring it back into it. I'm just going to tap the sides in, so when I fold it, it's more equal. So I'm going to fold the outer piece towards me and go halfway. The closer piece to me, away from me, and the couple of sides. So I've actually got one, two, three layers there. And then a little bit more flour, and roll the same oblong again. And the outer piece towards me, the closest piece away from me, it'll tap down and back in the fridge for 20 minutes. A little bit more flour. To our oblong. And you can still see dots of butter in this, which is what we want. Towards away, turn around. And you see the layers building up now already, so we'll keep repeating this process. Me, another, another time, um, and that's my 12 layers. So back in the fridge. And there's your finished product. Rough puff pastry, and use it for whatever you wish. For me, beef and carrot pie, delicious. <laughs>